Ooh, we got a good launch today that I'm really excited. Hourglass just launched their new Ambient Soft Glow Foundation. I definitely had to get my hands on it, so let's get into it. For reference, I have normal to dry skin. Definitely leaning more normal right now. I currently live in Florida, so I live in a very humid climate. I actually am going to the pool today, so I thought today would be a great time to do a wear test of this. I ordered mine from Sephora. You can also get yours off of the Hourglass website and various other places that I will link down below in the description box. This is Hourglass's newest foundation. Just so you can get an idea, I'm not the biggest fan of Hourglass's more popular complexion products, particularly the Vanish foundation stick, which was the most popular. It was a bit too thick for me, but I do enjoy the Illusion Hyaluronic Skin Tint. Yeah, I'm excited about this. This sounds like it is right up my alley. Major, major details. $58. Not a cheap foundation at all. 32 shades are available on the Sephora website. Major claims of this is it's a natural finish, medium coverage, a weightless liquid foundation that delivers buildable medium coverage with a light diffusing effect for up to 16 hours. So it's inspired by the ambient lighting collection, which I'm a big fan of. And it's infused with blurring spheres to minimize the look of imperfections for skin that looks smooth, even, and glowing, transfer resistant, and resistant to humidity and sweat. Big claims here. We're gonna test that today. I mean, it's supposed to do all the works. Blurring, long wearing, buildable medium coverage, natural finish, it's supposed to give you a glow. We'll see about that. So here is what the actual packaging looks like. It is a glass bottle, pretty heavy, of the typical brown hourglass color. It's a very simple and sleek design as hourglass usually does with their products. You get one fluid ounce of product and we are made in Korea, 12 month shelf life. Amazing, amazing. Okay, so let's prep the skin. I'm gonna get you nice and close and I'm gonna turn the lights down a wee bit so that you can see all that we're working with. So I have freckles, a little bit of sun damage, acne scarring down here, redness around the nose, a little bit of redness along the cheeks, slight pores in the center here. I'm gonna start off with sunscreen since I am going to the pool today. I'm currently using the Mistine Aqua sunscreen so let me lather this on. I think skin prep is important to share so you know what else we're working with. I also used my Chantecai moisturizer about 10 minutes ago, so that's had some time to sink in. Okay, now in terms of primer, I wanted to keep it pretty simple. I am gonna use the Hourglass Airbrush Primer just to see if maybe it makes a difference on half of my face. This is a newer-ish primer to me that I've been really enjoying. It's not a new primer in general. I'm late to the game on it, but we're gonna apply it right here on this side. I feel like this just smooths the skin and really leaves a nice base for makeup really silky so i want to put this on the side of the face i doubt it will make much of a difference but just in case you know sometimes a foundation really does agree with a primer so i thought we'd test it let's finally take a look at this right here so this is the foundation itself i picked up the shade 7.5 i was a little worried it was going to be too dark on me but i've been getting progressively more tan than i'm used to i thought i'd rather go a little darker because all of my foundations right now are a little bit too light so at the very least i could mix this but let's see what it looks like let's take a look at the consistency here okay so this is what it looks like it's not super liquidy but it also is not super thick honestly i like this consistency right here so i'm going to use a sponge on this side of the face and i like to kind of warm it into the skin with my finger spread it out yeah, so if you're my typical foundation shade just remember i'm a bit more tanned than usual my face is lighter, but my chest area is more tan than usual. This is a really good color for me. I know it looks dark against my face, but it matches my chest really nice. Yay! I was nervous that this was going to be too dark. Come winter, it'll be embarrassingly dark. But for now, that looks really pretty. I'm going to get just a little bit more color back here because let's get a little bit more in the areas that we need more coverage. And we're going to try a brush on the other side. Ooh, okay. I have a really good feeling about this foundation. I mean, it looks very airbrushed on the skin and it's extremely weightless. The claims were that it felt weightless and you know, sometimes I'm like meh about these claims. They always seem a bit too good to be true, but all that they are claiming 
is so true. Now the coverage is definitely on the lighter side of medium. We'll see how it builds up because you can definitely see my acne scarring. There's a little bit of redness peeking around my nose. Very nice. I'm gonna try and blend this out with a brush. Hourglass, of course, recommends that you use their brush. I'm just gonna use my favorite foundation brush. So I'm gonna get one more pump. And again, we're gonna spread this out using our fingers. I'm using a Sigma Beauty Multitasker brush to push in and blend out the foundation. I did apply a bit of a thicker layer here on this side just to see if it's going to give me more coverage or look a little bit more cakey oh my gosh you guys this foundation is so stunning i don't know if you can see but my skin looks so smooth and blurred it's kind of gives the finish of like a moussey foundation where it just has that softness to the skin and it's blending out equally as beautiful with a brush and you know how sometimes brushes can be tricky with foundations and some foundations can look a little streaky this foundation blends out like butter with a sponge and with a brush i don't have too much of a preference but i'm thinking i like the coverage that a brush is giving me with this foundation thus far okay i do have some leftover product gonna go ahead and layer it on the acne spots and around my jawline just because i want everything to look a little bit more even and i feel like we're getting a true medium coverage as i'm building this up so it's buildable up to a true medium i wouldn't say like a full medium just a true true medium so i'd say it leans a little bit more light medium but then you can definitely get a true medium. Oh my gosh. This is already my favorite foundation from Hourglass. Easily, point blank, like the best. It, my skin just looks so soft and it does not feel like I'm wearing any product. It blended out beautifully both ways, does not feel heavy. It definitely gives a true natural finish and a very soft glow similar to that of their powders. It, it's kind of giving that effect in a liquid form. A little less glowy than the powders, of course, but it has that same effect on the skin where you look at what it does and you don't know how it does that. Because Hourglass products, you know, you, they seem like normal products and you go out in the sun and in real life and your skin looks so good. The powders do magic. <gasps> wow, okay. So what I'm gonna do then, here's a quick oxidation test. You'll see my color right here leans a little bit more pinky as it dries down, but the oxidation on here so far is not very bad at all i'm going to finish the rest of my makeup i'm going to fast forward through so you can see what other base products i'm putting on top and we're gonna get this wear test going So genuinely, my makeup looks amazing. My complexion, so stunningly beautiful. I think why I like this so much is because I've been so sick of the skincare infused foundations that have come out recently. They've just emphasized pores. They have not been flattering on the skin. I'm not saying this is like a soft matte finish. It's not, it's a true natural finish, but it's just not as glowy as I was expecting it to be, which ended up being a very good thing because I mean, it's so blurring, so smoothing. It has that soft moussey look to the skin. My skin looks so plush and velvety but not heavy it feels really lightweight on the skin by the way obsessed with the bronzy look that i have going on today so i am going to take you guys towards the window on my iphone so that you can really see how we're working but this is a truly beautiful foundation upon first application i always talk about there's just some luxury foundations that have that luxury finish to them that is beautiful and stands out from any other foundation this is amongst those foundations that this gives a luxury special finish that you just don't get with any old foundation i can see the inspiration behind the ambient lighting and collection it gives that special blurring yet 
glowy and not drying effect. This is a really good one so far. I am praying that it wears well because wow, 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 wow. Okay, <laughs> so it is about one o'clock. I am going to update you guys in a few hours. Like I said, today I am going to spend time outside. So we will really see how it wears. But so far, I am loving every aspect of this product. Just saying. Here's the foundation in front of natural lighting on my iPhone. It's very clear. I'm loving everything about this foundation. <laughs> so I'll see you guys in a couple hours. When I tell you I have literally just found one of my new favorite foundations, okay? I was just at the pool for a few hours. It was hot, it was humid. I wasn't too sweaty, I stayed in the shade. But then I got in the pool, I didn't dip my whole face in the pool, but you know, my chin got under here. It just was not an ideal situation for foundations. And I am so happy that I ended up wearing this foundation because it has held up so well. Now this is not the longest wear test. It's been six to seven hours, not the longest as I would normally do, but I need to shower. I am chlorinated right now. And this got more of a trial than most foundations do here. And it looked nearly as fabulous as it did when I first applied it. You can see just right around the nose, maybe a hint of oiliness kind of trying to fight through. I think if I had sweated a little bit more, it would be a little bit more apparent as with any other foundation. Very little action happening in the smile lines. This smile line is always a little deeper than this one, but I haven't touched it. So um, I think if I do this, we're good as new for the next few hours. I don't even feel the need to powder and I've been in the humid weather, you guys. Whoa, like I have not tried a better foundation this year. I'm pretty sure this is my new favorite foundation this year. I'm gonna have to wear test it side by side with some of my current favorites, but Hourglass, you knocked it out of the park with this. If you don't like their foundation stick or their liquid foundation, you felt that those were too thick for you, this is perfect. I think you're really going to like it. There is one tip that I do have for you with this foundation. Less is more with this. I mean, I'm not saying you need to put like a dollop, but I did find as I got really, really close to my face, the areas, particularly on this side, do you remember how I put a thicker layer down? In the areas that I had a thicker layer of the foundation, it was like edging on the verge of looking dry ever so slightly, but just something that I noticed. And in the areas that had less of the product, it looked a little bit more smooth and less dry. But I mean, this is a, a top dollar, really good, really good foundation. I am, I'm excited to continue wearing this. And of course, I will be updating you on this foundation in a speed reviews. I have a feeling it's going to make it in this month's <laughs> monthly favorites. So keep an eye out for that if it continues to wear this well. I haven't been as stoked about a foundation in a long time. They've been launching all of those skincare infused foundations that just wear terribly. So finally we got this. And I'm actually excited because my other favorite foundation of this year was the Wayne Goss Luxury Cream Foundation. So I, I want to do a side by side with them, but I think the Hourglass wears a little better than the Wayne Goss. Oh, okay, yeah, if you needed that push to pick up this foundation, I'm giving it to you. Can you tell I like it? Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this wear test and review of the new Hourglass Foundation. Let me know your thoughts below. If you have tried it, listen up. Share your skin type with us, skin concerns, and how this product wore for you. Comment down below. All right, guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Have a good one. Oh, make sure you're subscribed and like this video. Thanks, bye.